Working in a small space certainly has its challenges, but one thing I really like about working here is that I have a very personal relationship with the customers of our store. I'm David Vanderhoff. I'm the manager of Van Allen Books. We're the only bookstore in New York City that's dedicated to architecture and design publications. This is our 400 square foot storefront on West 22nd Street in Manhattan. Van Allen Institute is a nonprofit organization that's devoted to engaging the public to think about the role of architecture and design in civic life. So this bookstore is a pretty clear uh, extension of our mission and uh, we also are addressing the very serious need for a bookstore devoted to architecture publications in the city because uh, when we opened in 2011, uh, there was no space of that kind left in New York. So Van Allen commissioned the architectural firm Lotech to design this installation. And this is a firm that's pretty well known for using recycled materials in their work. And they had a kind of interesting challenge uh, when they were approaching the concept for the space, because in this very small square footage, they had to incorporate a more or less traditional bookstore with something which could function as an event space and could accommodate an audience. So Lowtech decided to use the strategy of stacking 70 solid wood doors to create this incredibly strong structure which can accommodate up to 30 people sitting. So they've, they've built upward this amphitheater and they've taken advantage of the very high ceilings. The doors were actually donated to Van Allen by um, an organization called Build It Green in Queens. They're a, an architectural salvage yard that's repurposing material from demolition sites. The bookshelves are actually made from planks from construction scaffolding. So it's another recycled material that's become uh, a structural component of the bookstore. So these cables sometimes give people the impression that that's what's holding up the structure, but in fact that's, that's not the case at all. They're really just there because we don't want anyone to fall off this installation. It's really these, these bolts that are fastening the whole structure together and anchoring it uh, into the roof. You'll also notice that while most of the installation is painted yellow, the architects decided to leave some of the edges a little more raw and unfinished. And this came from their desire to evoke some of these less polished spaces that were more typical of New York maybe two or three decades ago. Another interesting element of the design is the lighting. Um, we have fluorescent lights which are mounted onto the back of the installation and it really gives a striking effect because the whole thing is backlit. So when you're standing on the street, particularly at night, uh, the whole space just emanates this yellow glow. So there's this moment when people realize that, yes, they can actually walk up on this installation, they can have a seat, they can just grab a book and, and get into it and take their time to, to browse the things that we have here. In a lot of ways, it's the small size that makes Van Allen books so unique. People feel very comfortable just coming in, engaging a conversation, and I don't think that's the type of relationship you can have in uh, maybe a bigger, more traditional retail environment. Are you a social media darling? Do you like to hang out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or even Tumblr? If so, you can check us out at all those places, or of course, you can just click subscribe right here to see what we got going on.